Hello everyone, let's look at the new features and changes that Microsoft is rolling out on Windows 11 Build 26220.6772 for version 25H2. These changes also apply to Windows 11 Build 26120.6772 for version 24H2. So according to Microsoft, up until now, you were only able to use the Windows Hello's Enhanced Sign-in Security Experience with supported built-in biometric sensors. But starting with this release, you can connect and configure any supporter fingerprint reader from the sign-in options page. And in order to configure this option, we're going to see this new enhanced sign-in security option under the additional settings section. So if you see this setting right here, you can connect other fingerprint readers to the computer with the enhanced sign-in security experience. In File Explorer, the company continues the work to improve the dark mode system. And in this update, you will find more elements using the dark color scheme, including default and expanded states for copy, move, and delete dialogues, progress bars, and charts view, dialogues for confirming a state, such as a skip, override, false selection, and multiple confirmations and error dialogues. So let me just show you the copy action. And we can see now that it uses the dark color scheme, but it's still a little bit buggy. Now, if we copy this file, and then we try to paste it on a different location with the same file, so you can see the replace or skip dialog box also is using the dark color scheme. And also the delete dialog now uses a dark color scheme. Now, starting with this release, Microsoft is also updating the auto box experience to actually disable workarounds that allow you to bypass the requirements to create a local account and skip an internet connection. As a result, beginning with this update, you will have to be connected to an internet connection and use a Microsoft account in order to complete the setup. So for example, right here, I have the Autobox experience for bill 26220, the 6772. And in previous releases, you were able to use a Shift F10 keyboard shortcut to open command prompt. And then from here, you were able to type this command to bypass the Microsoft account requirements. But if we do this now, as you can see, once we run the command, the computer doesn't even recognize the command anymore. So you can use that workaround in order to bypass requirements. You were also able to use this command but it will only restart the out-of-box experience and you won't be able to bypass the Microsoft account and internet requirements to set up the device with a local account. The company states that it is disabling known mechanisms for creating a local account within the Windows setup experience. Microsoft also says that unofficial methods not only bypasses the Microsoft account requirement, but also skip important setup screens, leaving devices improperly configured. And from now on, users will have to complete the out -of box experience using an internet connection and a Microsoft account to ensure the device is configured correctly. In addition, Microsoft is also updating the experience. So now if you want to specify the account's folder name during the initial setup, up, you will have to go through the out of box experience. And then according to the company on the sign in page, we can use the shift plus F10 keyboard shortcut. And from here, we have to switch to a specific folder. And then we need to use the set default user folder that CMD, and then we need to specify the name for the profile folder. And then just for this example, I'm just going to type this, and then I'm going to press enter. And as you can see, the name and the specify is a valid folder name, so it set it successfully. Now we can close this, and you can continue creating 
your Windows 11 profile using a Microsoft account. Now, one thing that I wanted to point out is that even though Microsoft is blocking the most popular workarounds to bypass the internet and the online account requirements, there is still plenty of different ways that you can use to bypass your requirements. You can check the video description to the link to the tutorial where I have tested several different methods that are still working to bypass the Microsoft account and internet connection to set up your computer with a local account. And finally, as part of the release for version 25H2 and 24H2, Microsoft is also updating Click To Do, which introduces a new experience for selecting objects from a snapshot. So as you can see on the image, you can now hover an object to get a preview of the selection area. And then you can right click the object that you want to access the click to do actions. Also, if you hover over or select a number along with its unit, click to do will be able to provide unit conversion for length, area, volume, weight, temperature, and speed. This feature is not yet available for Copilot Plus PCs for users in Europe. As always, this rollout includes different fixes and known issues that you want to know before upgrading. Remember to check the link in the description to learn more details about this update. And that's it. Those are the biggest features and changes rolling out on Windows 11 build 26.220.6772 and 26.120.6772 for version 25H2 and 24H2. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes and let me know what you think about Microsoft blocking more workarounds to set up a device with a local account. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.